Hello everyone, today we are going to blur images using Jetpack Compose. So let's jump into Android Studio and let's firstly enable Edge to Edge because I want to overlap the top bar. I have a video on this tool in which I'm explaining how it works. So let's call an image let's say painter resource I already have one this is my image okay let's art drawable latte art null okay let's put this on a separate lines and let's take a variable so this will handle when we click the image it will make it blurish otherwise it will remove the blur so is blurred by remember mutable state of oops okay I uh, press the wrong button so it's false let's import okay now let's say content scale let's make this crop let's say fill max size and now we can simply say blur and here we need to have the radius but let's implement the clickable and is blurred equals not is blurred so the radius determines how blurred is the image and we want to animate this by saying val um, blur radius animation by animate dp as state Let, let's oops put this on a new line and let's say if is blurred we want 20 dps of blur otherwise nothing let's also add a label to get rid of the error and now let's say radius equals blur radius animation let's run the app and see how it looks okay and now if you click on the image it should get blurry okay it works and now let's handle a list of images and that we want to blur so let's start by creating a data class coffee it will have an ID and an image and this is a drawable press okay let's create the list so coffee list oops is remember mutable a uh, mutable state list of and now let's create a coffee so id 0 image is our drawable latte art let's duplicate it for a couple of times latte art 1 and uh, latte art 2 and this will be 1 and 2 now let's say coffee uh, selected coffee and remember mutable int state of uh, oops mutable state list of integers and now let's say lazy column items coffee list coffee and now let's get the image and now we replace this with coffee.image and let this one like this and let's say size 200 dps now we need to get these ones okay so this one will be a derived state of 
Let's remove the mutable state off. This will trig be triggered when the selected coffee changes. So selected coffee contains coffee dot ID and change to vault, sorry. So remember selected coffee will be triggered whenever the selected coffee uh, list will change and it will verify if the selected coffee contains the coffee ID to check if it's blurred. So here we need to say selected coffee let's say if selected coffee contains coffee dot ID selected coffee remove coffee ID and selected coffee add coffee ID okay so let's run the app and see if everything is okay now okay so I haven't removed the enable edge to edge so and this caused the overlap of the top bar but it's okay you can remove it if you don't want to use it so let's click on this one it's okay and everything works perfectly and if you like this video make sure to follow me for more content like this and see you soon